World edit for Minecraft 1.21. Let's go ahead and get it. Starting off, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below. And it's our in-depth text guide on getting world edit. But we're going to show you how to do everything in this video as well. So let's go ahead and click on the download button here to go to world edit's official download page. On this page, all you've got to do is click on files here. And then you will find all the different versions of world edit. We want to go ahead and filter by 1.21. And this is the version we want here. 1.21 for Fabric Neo Forge. We're going to be using Fabric in this video. Click the three dots on the right hand side and click download file. After a few seconds, the download will begin, but while this is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash SGH is to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server where you can easily add mods, plugins, or mod packs to your server, including world edit, and customize your server any way that you want. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and host a server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash SGH. Nevertheless, you may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser and it's 100% safe to do that but now we can go ahead and move on to getting fabric fabric is the mod loader that allows world edit to work in minecraft so you need fabric and world edit to use them together in game so in the description down below we have a link here which is our in-depth guide on getting fabric on this page go ahead and click on download and you'll be taken to fabrics official download page on this page we want to go ahead and click on this download universal jar here the reason we're doing that is if you install fabric using this method you'll be able to install other model loaders things like that in the future easier so we want to go ahead and click on that and when you do it will go ahead and you may need to keep or save it but start downloading the fabric installer now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and what we want to do is move all of these from our downloads folder or wherever files download for you to our desktop. Once they're on your desktop, we're going to be starting off with Fabric. So go ahead and right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or you click Java, click OK, and it doesn't work. Well, as of Minecraft 1.21, you need Java 21. And Java is another program, basically, that allows you to open up Minecraft mod files, like the Fabric Mod Loader, for example, and open the installer and run it. It also helps with Minecraft servers and is needed to host your own Minecraft server, all of that stuff. So in the description down below, we have a guide on getting Java 21 that goes over everything you need to know, text format, video format. We've also got a link to the jar fix. What this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. But first, you'll need to get Java, then run the jar fix. Now we can go ahead and open up the Fabric installer. Right click on it, click open with, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the Fabric installer. We just want to make sure the 1.21 version is selected and then click install. At this point, Fabric will install. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.21 before. If that's the case, just open it up to the main menu without any mods or anything. Come back and you'll be able to install this. But you also want to make sure that Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed because that's the other reason that this might not work. Nevertheless, successfully installed, we can click OK and close out of the Fabric installer and actually completely delete it. Now what we want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher. Then in the Minecraft launcher, we will have a Fabric loader installation. But don't play Minecraft we still need to install world edit before we play so go up to the installations tab at the top here and make sure modded is selected when you select modded you will see a fabric loader installation here if you don't that's okay or if fabric's not for the right version let's say it's for 1.20 or 1.18 or 1.19 it's not 1.21 go ahead and click new installation here now you can name this installation anything that you want but we're going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play minecraft with your friends and then click the versions drop down here then we have release fabric loader 1.21 that's the release we want and you can search and find all of your fabric installations by searching but we want this one here i'm also going to change resolution so we can see in game and click create now if you didn't have a fabric installation you've got one that you just made yourself how do we install world edit though well we want to find our fabric installation either one we created or the one that was there by default hover over it and click the folder icon this will open up our minecraft folder in here we want to open our mods folder but i don't have a mods folder well that's okay if you don't have a mods folder like i don't well just go ahead and create a new folder and title it mods mods all lowercase exactly like that then open up your mods folder and drag and drop world edit 1.21 into this mods folder right like so it's that easy to get it installed now all we've got to do is play minecraft so go to your fabric installation the one that was there by default or the one you created click play and click play again and now minecraft will open up with world edit installed that's all you've got to do the hardest part is honestly getting fabric once you've got fabric it's just some dragging and dropping and playing minecraft like we're about to
So here we are in game and with world edit once you've got it installed you can do slash slash wand and you will get the world edit wand. This is basically what allows you to make selections and things like that. So what I want to do is actually replace all of the cobblestone on this building with diamond blocks. So we're going to go ahead and make a selection by right clicking or left clicking down here and then we want to go to the top of the building and make a selection up here. Except it's kind of hard to make a selection. We could left click and select the second position or right click and select the second position but that doesn't work because we're missing this wall so what we can actually do and if we want to get this part of the building as well go up above this building and set our position to you can see the second position at the top we set was position two and do slash slash POS or position two and then that will set the second position now you can use commands to change these blocks so we're gonna do slash slash replace cobblestone with diamond block when you enter that in there you go um, it doesn't look great because of because of the stairs, but we'll just ignore that. And uh, because it doesn't look great, we can do slash slash undo and undo that. Now, one of the cool things about this as well is you can also copy stuff. So we can do slash slash copy, right like so. And then if we wanted to rotate this, I think 180 degrees. If you do slash slash rotate, you can do that with anything you have copied. And then now, let's say we wanted to paste this facing this direction. Um, I don't know, over here. Yeah, we'll paste it right here. And so if we do now, slash slash paste, it will paste this building in right like so. Now, not perfect. It actually went a little lower than it should have and all that. We could fix that by moving it up and undoing it. And then, you know, we want to go up kind of a block here, then paste it. And it looks a little better there. So there you have it. That's how you can use World Edit. It's not super in-depth. There's also World Edit brushes, which allow you to literally paint the Minecraft world, like paint with blocks in Minecraft. It's crazy. Super in-depth Minecraft mod and tons you can do. Great for builders. But there's just some of the examples of the features that World Edit has. What feature are you most excited for in World Edit? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.